Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use the animation tree state machine we made in the last tutorial to create a boss fight. We will get the boss to chase the player when the player approaches it, change its state to attack whenever the player is in front of it, randomly change its state from chasing to dropping rocks on the player, change its state to hurt when it is hit, and change its state to dead when it is dead. In the last tutorial, we set up an animation tree state machine, used a script in the animation tree to store states, and used expression to store the condition, the current state needed to transition from each state. If you missed part one of this tutorial, you can watch it here. Today we will start by adding a script to the troll boss. The troll boss is a character body 3D and has a capsule shaped collision shape. We'll add a navigation agent 3D to use navigation. We'll add a reference to the player, which is in a group called Hero, so that we can track and chase the player with navigation 3D. Next we'll add a node 3D and call it face direction, which we'll use to turn towards the player. Then we will add code to the physics process delta for the states where we want the enemy to turn towards the player or move. When the troll hasn't caught up to the hero, it will move toward him and turn towards him. If the hero is in front of it, it will just turn towards him. I have explained navigation further in this tutorial. We want the troll to damage the player when he punches him, so we will add a bone attachment and add an area and collision shape to it and disable it. The collision shape will be enabled during the punch animation while the troll is punching, and if the area is entered by the hero, it will call the hero's function to take damage. We'll add a detect player area and collision shape. When the player enters this area, the animation tree's state will change from idle to chase. Next we will create another area in front of the troll called attack area. When the player enters this area, the troll state will change to attack, and when the player exits, the troll state will change to chase. We will store whether the hero is in the attack area in a variable, so that later when we code the hurt state, we can return to the correct state when this state is finished. I have set up a test scene with a navigation region, and baked the navigation region. I have a player character here, and when we run the scene, we see that the troll is backing towards us, which is not what we want. So we will rotate the armature 180 degrees, and also move the attack player collision shape which will now be backwards. The troll is kind of tall for the animation, so we will scale it down a little. Now we have a boss that can damage us, but we can't fight back. That will not be fun, so we will add the hurt and the dead state to the boss. We will add a variable life, and set it to how many times you want the boss to be hit to kill it. We will create a timer called Hurt Timer, keep it at one second, and set it to one shot. We will create a Hurt function. If the state is not hurt or dead, we will change state to Hurt, subtract Life, and start the Hurt Timer. At the end of the Hurt Timer, if Life is not zero, we will go back to Attack if the hero is in front of the troll, or Chase if the hero is not. If life is not over zero, we will change state to dead and start the death timer, which will just queue free to make the boss disappear after it dies. Next we come to one of the most important parts of a boss fight, creating random attacks. I have a rock with an area and collision set to it to call the hero's take damage function when entered by the hero. I will make another scene called rock drop and add multiple rocks to it 
and animate them downward with an animation player. I will set this animation to automatically play when the scene is loaded. You can use this method to make lots of payloads of different things to throw at the player during a boss fight. We will add a node 3D to the troll as the spawn spot for the rock drop and preload the scene in the troll script. We will create a function to drop the rocks that will instantiate this scene and move it to the spawn spot. We will add a call function track to the stomp animation and make the rocks fall when the troll stomps. Next we want to randomly have the troll stomp and drop rocks. We will create a timer to change the state and set it to one shot and a few seconds. We will have it call a function change state. If the life is greater than two, we will choose a random number between 0 and 1, and if not, we will choose a random number between 0 and 2. As the troll's life goes down, we will increase the likelihood of dropping rocks. You will probably want to add even more attacks to your boss, and release more powerful attacks as the boss's life depletes. But for simplicity, for this tutorial, we only have the rock drop. We will also call the change state function at the end of the stomp animation, so the troll will randomly stomp again or chase the player. Finally, we will add sound. We will add an audio stream player, call it voice, and preload our troll's voice files. We will set the stream and play the voice whenever we want the troll to make a sound. Now we have created a boss that can randomly choose attacks, damage us, Take damage and be killed. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.